So today I'm going to help you uh, with your online mind maths homework on sequences. So hopefully you've already looked through the lesson, um, but I know that sometimes the questions in the homework seem a little bit different and you might want some help with them. So I'm going to go through this homework and uh, work through it and explain as I go. And then hopefully when you do it, you will then understand. You won't have the exact same homework because the numbers are different each time you do it. But hopefully this will be enough of a help. So I'm going to click practice. And it's also useful to note that you cannot use a calculator on this homework. So <clears throat> first question is look at the sequence. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. What is the rule? Plus something. So it's fairly easy to see I think that it's going up in twos so the rule is going to be plus two what is the next number so it's asking what's the number after 14 so if we plus two onto 14 we will get 16 would 20 be in this sequence so if we count on a little and see if we get to 20 or not so after 16 would be 18 and then it would be 20 so yes that's on there the rule for a sequence is minus 5. The first number is 93. Write down the next four numbers in the sequence. So we start with 93 and we subtract 5 to get 88. Subtract 5 again, you get 83. Subtract 5 again, you're going to get 78 and 73. And filling these missing numbers. So let's have a look what's happening here. Uh, we are adding 7. So if we add another 7, we get to 17. If we add another 7, we get to 24. So that's more confirmation that we're correct. Add another 7, you get to 31. This one. So um, the first one's missing. So it's a little bit tricky to start from there. But we've got two in a row over here. So we'll start looking at the 58 and the 54. So you can see that you're subtracting 4 to get to them. So 66 subtract 4 gets you 62. And then if we want to work backwards, instead of subtracting 4, we'd be adding 4. So this number would have to be 70. And then this one, uh, we've got, again, a couple of blanks in a row. Don't know the rule, but if we have a look at this one where we've got two numbers in a row together, we will be adding uh, 16. So if we add 16 each time to go forwards, then to go forwards from 9, adding 16 will get me to 25. Adding 16 will get me to 41. Just check add 16. Yes, you do get to 57. So if we press mark it, we've got more right. That's great. On to question two. So looking for patterns. Look at the pattern and complete the table. So black beads, two. Blue beads, three. Black beads, three. we have just got to count the blue beads. Well, there's six of them. This one, count the black beads as four. Count the blue beads. There's going to be nine of them. And then this last one, one, two, three, four, five black beads. And three, six, nine, twelve blue beads. How many blue beads would there be for a pattern with 11 black beads? Well... I could draw it out, but that seems like a lot of work. So let's have a look at a pattern. The pattern is going to be that we are adding three blue beads for each black bead we add. So we can just count up in threes till we get to 11. So six black beads would be 15. Then seven black beads would be 18. 8 black beads will be 21, 9 black beads will be 24, and 10 black beads will be 27, and 11 black beads, unless I'm mistaken, will be 30 blue beads. Then, how many black beads will be in a pattern with 90 blue beads? Okay, right, things are getting a little bit more tricky now. So, if we... So if we think about it a different way, we can uh, get the answer a little bit easier because even with our quicker method of counting up in threes, it takes a very long time. If we look at the necklaces, we can see that there's a black bead to start. And then for each 
additional section you put on it. There's three blue beads and one black bead. So two extra black beads, six blue beads. Three extra black beads, nine extra blue beads, etc., etc. So we can think about this being very closely related to our three times table. So for the 11 black beads, if we take one off the starting black bead, then what we're left with is 10 times three to make 30. So if we look at the same thing here, we've got um, 30 times three would make our 90, but we've got the extra black bead at the start. So there's going to be 31 black bead on that one. Will there be a pattern with a total of 44 beads? So let's look at the totals. We've got 5, 9, uh, 13, 17. So if we think about what they're going up in, uh, 5 to 9 is going to be going up in 4, going up in 4, going up. It's going up in 4s each time. So if we carry on thinking about it, going up in fours, we've got an example here where this uh, pattern with 11 black beads and 30 blue beads, that's got 41 total. The next one will go up to 45 if we add on four. So no, there won't be. So if we mark it, we've got it all right. Excellent. Hopefully the, this helps you do your homework. Well done if you have done it without looking at this video.